Franklin W. Dixon gave us one of the most famous crime-solving duos ever, the Hardy Boys. Although many Hardy Boys books have been published, there were a few that publishers decided not to release. Don't Film Any More Productions was able to create faithful adaptations of Dixon's hidden work by outbidding Hardy Boys Fat 92 on eBay for the original manuscripts. The Hardy Boys, Who's Dating Whom? Joe? Joe? Well, if it isn't the famous Hardy Brothers, Frank, and what's your name again, kid? It's Joe. You know, like Joe's Diner, uh, Joe the Plumber, Joe the Funeral Parlor Guy. Joe the Funeral Parlor Guy? I googled my name and that's the first thing that came up. <sighs> you won't get away with this, Hank. Oh, Frank. I admire your determination to see me behind bars, but once I get this last shipment of cocaine out of Bayport, I'll be in Mexico, never having to worry about the police. In fact, I was about to start my shipment until you rudely interrupted me, but I always know how to deal with pests. Just so Frank and I are on the same page, what exactly do you do to pests? I prefer to give them a nice tan, peaches. When this bomb goes off, the Hardy Brothers are going to be the Hardy Ashes. <laughs> Seriously? You're like the third villain to use that one this month. Oh, boss, it wasn't that funny. But, okay, you were, it was actually pretty hilarious. Beaches, go start the cocaine mobile. Cream, tell your mom thanks for letting us borrow the van. Do I get a free girlfriend? Sure. Why? I've set the timer on this iPhone for five minutes. You have until then to talk amongst yourselves. Hope it's a blast. <laughs> These bonds are really tight, Joe. No kidding, Frank. I don't have my pocket knife. Do you have yours? Yeah. If I can just work it down my sleeve here. And... Got it. Good thing those goons didn't find my knife. Look, Frank, in case we don't get out of this thing live, there's something I gotta tell you. Can it wait? I gotta tell you now. What is it? I'm dating your girlfriend. You can't be dating her. I'm dating Callie. Think about it, Frank. Have you checked your Facebook page in the last few weeks? No. Oh. Have you checked your text messages? Well, no, but my, my phone's been messed up, man. Oh my gosh, she dumped me and posted it on Facebook? If I remember correctly, her post said Callie Shaw is single, but she had one of those cute little smiley faces on the side. Wait, Joe, I thought you were dating Iola. I was till she dumped me for Tony right around the time Callie made that post about being single. Preto? Yeah. That's funny. I don't remember you saying anything to me about it. You don't remember? I practically cut myself off from society for two weeks. Oh, I thought it was because you couldn't grow facial hair. Hey, Uncle Chester couldn't grow facial hair either and he makes half a million a year. Yeah, and he spends about half of that on his weekly psychiatrist visits. I can't believe you went to Cali the second I only dumped you. Did you not take a second to think how this would affect me? I didn't go to her. She came to me. She was in tears, and I took the time to listen to her. Apparently, she dumped you because you weren't there for her. What are you talking about? I've always been there for her. Frank, think of all the conversations you've had with her the past three weeks. Go ahead and get that other alien, Chet. Come on, come on, come on, go, no! Ah, I died. Seriously, you're the worst alien shredders player ever. I'll take care of him. Leave me alone! 
You know, that was probably Callie. Yeah, so? And you just broke your phone. What's your point? How are you gonna call her back? She'll get over it. She's got BFF. Something like that. I think. You're right, Joe. I'm a terrible boyfriend. What? To Callie. I just don't see why she went to you, though. Well, after I calmed her sobbing self down, we, we went, went to Starbucks, Starbucks and had some coffee and, and just talked about how it was better that she and her relationship with you and go out with a man who appreciates her company. company. After that, we looked into each other's eyes and her hand covered my hand, and, and I said, want to come over and watch The Notebook? And she was like, sure, and we've begun dating ever since. I can't believe you. Date my girlfriend like that behind my back? Now you're gonna pay. Frank! The bomb! We got 26 seconds left. Let's get out of here. Fine. Wait. What? Free iPhone. You brought the bomb with you? Oh, never mind. Come on, let's go. Free bear. Joe, you blew up the van! Don't worry, Frank. There's got to be a clause in our insurance for vehicular explosions. We don't have any coverage for vehicular explosions. Okay. Okay, well, thanks anyways. You blew up our van. We spent our entire life savings on that van, and you threw the bomb at it. I know you really, really must want to totally punch me right now, and I can totally understand that, so just go right ahead.